Hey there, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I'm going to show you how to create a cylinder. So let's start. We're going to start with an ellipse. And we're going to, you can create any good old ellipse. I'm going to go to the square tool, and I'm going to just start drawing that. Um, it's going to be the same width as the ellipsis. So how do I do that? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to use these wonderful snapping tools. You can enable this little uh, sidebar. Just keep in mind that I have a Mac, so this might be different on your PC. But we can go to View, go to Show, Hide, and make sure that Snap Controls bar has been checked. OK, so we have that. Now, we want to enable a few, a few tools here. I'm going to enable Snap Nodes, Paths, and Handles. And I'm going to Snap to Smooth Nodes. And I'm going to Snap to Cusp Nodes. So what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to take the ellipsis. And when I hover over, let's zoom in a little bit. And also, let's give this a different color just so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to hover over. And actually, another thing we want to do, so because we want this ellipsis the same width as the rectangle, we can go up to this width and height area, and we can make it the same width as the rectangle. Or we can, like I was showing you, go to the snapping menu. And I'm going to go back here. And there's actually a tool where you can snap to midpoints as well. So I'm going to select that. Now let's hover this rectangle over, and you'll see it snapped right to the ellipsis. I'm going to go to the objects and lower this to the bottom just so we can see the ellipsis. I'm going to select the ellipsis. Make sure you're using the Select and Transform tool. And I'm just going to shrink this down. And because it's not really snapping to the side, let's go ahead and enable that as well. We're going to select edges of a bounding box. And as you can see, it snapped. Great. So we have an ellipsis. Let's just make sure now that the tops and the bottoms align as well. Perfect. All right. So the first step is I'm actually going to take the ellipsis and drag it so that the midway point on the ellipsis overlaps the top of this rectangle. Then I'm going to click it, Control C, copy, and then Control V and make an exact copy of that. And I'm going to hover over the bottom edge of this rectangle to the midpoint of the ellipsis. Now, depending on what you want to see, if you want to see the bottom of the cylinder, you can make it the same color as the, the height of the cylinder. Or you can, I think typically you would want to see the top of the cylinder because the cylinder is resting on something. First, I'm going to change the color of this bottom ellipsis going to use the eyedropper tool in the fill and stroke window. Going to select this orange. And that's pretty much how to make a cylinder. Now if you want to get fancy and let's say you want to stack these guys, you can always click drag and select the whole cylinder. Hit control C, then control V. And you can add another layer. Make sure to right click and group and select lower and you can make it appear as though the cylinders are stacked and if you just if you actually use the snapping grid and let's just say you know you go over and snap to the quadrant point as it's doing you can always click on that bottom object and then select the down arrow and you can just create the illusion that the cylinder is sitting on top of each other. So that's a 
quick and simple way to create a cylinder. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And I look forward to next Wednesday when we show you something else in Inkscape.